Hey everybody, Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. Going local tonight, gonna honor the boys over at Victory Brewing in Downingtown with their 1337 Ale. This is Bill and Ron's Excellent Home Brew. This was, uh, this has been dusted off. This was one of their 70s era home brews. In fact, I think this is the first one that they trademarked for themselves. Hopefully I'm not screwing up the history, guys. I believe it is a lager style. Well, not a lager, it's an ale, duh. Yeah, it's a uh, 6% alcohol by volume brew. Nice spicy aroma. This was brewed with Vienna and Pale Crystal Malts, as well as Cascade, Centennial, and Spalt Select Hops. And as I said, this is basically a salute to their early days as home brewers. Little, little did they know they paved the way for the craft beer renaissance that would follow. So this is, this is going to be my first one of these. I've had it in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Looking forward to having my first sample of this. So cheers to victory. Surprisingly smooth. Typically, you get into your your assorted hops, and you know, and one of the, one of the things I've come to expect from a victory beer, and that this is not a put down, this is simply past experience. Typically, you'll have uh, a, a distinctly hoppy flavor to the beer. This one is very light. There, there's an almost hint of spiciness to the flavor, actually. But I have to say, not bad so far. Uh, for the, the foodies out there who like to combine, this, according to the website, goes well with wings and pizza, especially if the pizza in question is pepperoni or mushroom. My wife would agree with that if she were here. Now tonight, I'm going to test my theory of how well it goes with a couple of burgers. So I will check on that, and I will let you know what my findings are when I'm closer to the bottom of the glass. Cheers. Hmm. I have to say, you know, the, the more I dive into this, the more I'm liking it. I, I'm going to venture a guess it's not just because of the alcohol by volume content. The, uh, the citrusy floral notes as the beer is warming are definitely starting to give way to a more earthy tone. And there's definitely, you know, the malts are definitely starting to come into play on the back end. Little hint of caramel. Not much. I mean, just enough to, uh, just enough to register. So, well, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not my absolute favorite victory brew that I've had to date, but you know there there are so many of them from them that I like. <clears throat> That's really not a fair assessment. I mean, so ultimately, at the end of the day, you know the the you know Bill and Ron's excellent homebrew. You know this this is one I definitely endorse. I um would recommend, however, if if, if at all possible. 
get a friend to help you out. You you see how big the bottle is. These things things he, <clears throat> these things are rough to get through solo, but um, it's a worthy excursion nonetheless. So with that, I, I will bid you all adieu for the evening. And until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.